Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another very interesting SQL problem. We will be using aggregation and window functions in this problem. So you will learn something new definitely. So let's understand the problem and data and then we will jump on to the solution. Before checking my solution, I will encourage all of you to try it yourself. I will put this link in the comment section in the description box. So you can directly go there. It is absolutely free. So let's understand the problem now. Assume there are three Spotify tables containing information about artists, song and music charts. Write a query to determine the top five artists whose songs appear in the top 10 of the global rank table the highest number of times. Okay. So the thing is, we have a table. In that table for every day, we have the ranking, right? So we have global song rank. So for every day, every song is on which rank right so they let's say there are 100 songs so for each day they will be ranking from 1 to 100 from day 1 day 2 day 3 right so we need to first of all find top 10 song right whose songs appear in the top 10 of the global rank list highest number of times so first we have to find for each day what are the top 10 song and then we have to see so we have this artist table for each song ID. We have the artist ID, right? So this is my global song rank, right? Day song ID rank. Now, now we have a artist ID also. So we will join on song ID and we will get the artist ID. And then we will, we can see that for each artist, how many number of times the songs are in top 10 list, right? We can just aggregate it. Okay, so first of all, let's put this filter where where rank less than equal to 10. This is the first thing. Second thing is we, we need to get the artist ID also because for each artist, we have to see how many songs are there. So I will just join it with artist uh, uh, table. So G S K inner join. Inner join songs from this table. I will get the artist ID on G S K dot song underscore ID equal to songs dot song underscore ID, right? We have the song ID common in this. So with this, we will get the artist ID. So let's do this. I will take uh, gsk dot star and then I will take songs dot star and let's run this. Okay, so we got if you see song ID, artist ID, day, this is day one, two, three, and then we have the rank. Rank we have already filtered less than equal to 10. Now, what I need, I just need for each artist ID how many times that artist song has come in the top 10 rank, right? So I will say songs dot artist underscore ID comma count one as number of appearances, right? So this is the number of times the song has come in top 10 chart for this artist, right? And I have to do group by group by artist ID, right? Let me run this now. Uh, select count one is number, there is some syntax error. Select, okay, there is a space in the column name, let's fix it. Okay, so if you see, we have artist 101, his songs have come five times. This guy's songs have come four times. This guy's songs have come six times in the top 10 chart. Now, what is the question? The question is, output the top five artist name in ascending order along with their song appearances ranking. Not the number of song appearances, but the rank of who has most appearances, right? So who has the most appearances? On the basis of that, we have to 
find top five artists. So what we have to do on top of this, we will get a rank. Select star comma. Okay. One more thing is, if you see, if you see, one more condition they have given. If the if two artists song have the same number of appearances, the artist should have the same rank, right? The rank number should be continuous. One, two, two, three, four, five, not skipped. Which means we have to use dance rank. In the rank, it will be skipped like one, two, two, four. In the previous video, I have talked about it. So we have to use dance rank so that we will get one, two, two, three, four, five, right? So I will get dance rank instead of rank. Dance underscore rank. Right over order by order by number of appearances in descending order. Right, we want to give rank one to the most number of time if song has appeared for the artist as R N. Let's run this and see what we get from this table. Let me give a alias. That's it. So if you see, we have got rank one, rank two, rank three, three, four, five, right? Now what they are asking? They are asking we need top five artists, right? So we just have to put a filter. Select star from this table again. Where R n less than equal to five, right? I will just run the code again, right? And we have the auto. So artist ID, number of appearances, and rank, right? In the output, what they are expecting? In the output, they are expecting artist name and artist rank. So artist rank is this one, two, three, four, five, right? Now, number of appearances is not required. So I will just take artist ID, comma, RN. Another thing is they want name. So we have to join it with the third table, which has artist ID and artist name. So I will just join it with inner join. We can join, we can jo join this table in the inside queries as well or here as well. So that is absolutely fine to get the artist name. In our join artist a uh, a r on b dot artist id equal to a r dot artist id and we will get the artist name. So instead of artist id, we will get the artist name from which table from a r dot. Now let me run code and see if everything is fine. So this is it, right? Now in the last, they are saying we have to sort by rank and artist name. So I will say order by RN. This so this is the rank, comma artist name. Let me run it for the last time, and then we will submit the code. I hope this makes sense. Let me know if you have any doubts. You can try it yourself, and. Thanks for watching the video. Please share it with your friends and like the video. Thanks for watching. And it has accepted our answer. Accepted. Thank you. Have a good day.